growing up, the idea that someone like me could get elected to a state senate in our country seemed so impossible that it was almost incomprehensible. The old saying is you can't be what you can't see. And so in many ways, I'm still catching up with the reality of last night and the reality of today, the reality of this campaign. I've known throughout my life that, that my neighbors are fair-minded people who look at candidates based on their ideas and their experience, not on their identity. I think that's been proven once again in this election. Um, and at the same time, um, not having growing up the kinds of possibility models across really fields and industries, not being able to see those possibility models, those role models, um, it, it, it makes it difficult to imagine that something like this could be possible. Of course, we've seen over the last few years more and more diversity among our candidates and elected officials across the country. Um, but I, I think in many ways, I'm still catching up. I'm still processing the fact that, um, uh, that we've continued to expand our understanding of we the people, that we've continued to, to, to expand the table so that there are more seats at the table with more voices being heard in the conversation. And I'm just, I'm proud to be a part of that. I'm proud to be a part of a community that is leading the way in building opportunity and dignity for every person. Thanks so much for watching Bloomberg Quick Take News, where we bring you the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. Don't forget to click the video if you want to see more of our latest coverage and subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take News to get insight in an instant.